Okay, so I'm going to tell you in this video how to use VoiceThread to create a commercial advertisement analysis. If you choose to do a commercial, you're going to have to use VoiceThread as it's the tool that will allow you to show the video and record your voice and pause all at the same time. If you want to do a print ad, please watch the other video on how to use ThingLink. Once you're at the directions for the advertisement analysis, you will see a link for VoiceThread. When you click on that, it's going to bring you to VoiceThread. You'll have to create an account if you don't have one, and you'll get to this dashboard screen. This is really important. You have to do this part on a computer um, because this does not allow you to do this portion on the app for some reason on your phone. The rest of this you'll be able to do on your phone very easily, but this portion you have to do on a computer. So you'll click the create button. You get this part where it says add media. You have different options here. If you're going to just use a YouTube video, you're going to click URL. So let's say I go to YouTube, I find a commercial. Say I want to do this one. I can copy this right here, this URL, or the one down here. Okay, it doesn't really make a difference. Say I copy this one. I paste it in here and I click save. Okay, it's going to say processing, it's going to ask me to make a title. Okay, I'll make it Flintstones Commercial Analysis. Okay, so here we go. We have the Flintstones Commercial. And now what I can do is I can click on it and click the little edit button if I wanted to. Um, but what we're going to do now is comment. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this portion and click the comment button. Here comes the commercial. Now what's going to happen is it will play the commercial and I have this comment button right here. It's similar on the app. I'll show you what it looks like on the app in a second, but if you want to do this on the computer, you can. I'm going to click the comment button. You're going to see a microphone. Once I hit this microphone, it's going to start recording my voice. Um, anything I say, it will record. So you have to be careful with this and really plan out what you're going to say before you record because if you stumble, it will record that as well. So let's just try something else. I'll show you how this works. So you click record, it's going to play the commercial. I will have the ability to pause the commercial at any time and speak. I'll have the ability to talk over the commercial. I will also be able to draw on the commercial as well to point things out. So here's how I'll show you. So you click record. It's going to tell you, yes, you can draw once you um, once it's recording and that's fine. Okay, got it. Yes, I want microphone access and here we go. So I'm going to hit play, but right now it's recording my voice. So here we go. Let's play the commercial. They sure work hard, don't they, Bonnie? Yeah. I hate to see them work so hard. Yeah, me too. Um, let's go around back where we can't see them. Okay, so right away this commercial is using sweeping generalizations. The stereotype is that women do all the household chores while the men don't do anything around the house because they are busy working. Okay, how's about taking a nap? I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. Okay, so I immediately notice that we have Barney Rubble holding a pack of Winston cigarettes, which is really strange. Um, it seems rather odd that a cartoon character would be smoking. Clearly, this suggests that their target audience is children, right? They want children to see this commercial while watching the cartoon, maybe Saturday mornings. And by the time that they are of age, they, of course, will turn to Winston to smoke. So, okay, so we have some facts being told about the product, 
right? He's actually pointing to the filter on the cigarette, therefore, you know, suggesting that almost the cigarettes are healthier. So the kids maybe will think, oh, okay, it's a healthier choice. I've been told smoking is not necessarily the best for me. Okay, so then I would finish up and I would stop recording. And I would save, and now I have this video here, okay? Um, obviously, I would do the whole commercial, but I'm just showing you what to do. So now I have this thing, and you can see that it actually has my voice. Once we once we hit play, it'll play the whole thing back, and it will have my voice. Um, once I'm done, I can uh, get out of here, and I can actually click share and copy this link. And then I would go back to Canvas. I would go to submit the assignment and you'll see it says website URL and I would post this. Um, I asked though to help me out if you could also post the URL for the actual commercial as well in here just in case I have questions about that commercial I can easily find it. So we can put that right here and then I would click submit, submit and then we'd be done. Okay, so now I'll show you what it looks like on the app. If you, you know, you upload a commercial, you put the URL in, like I said, you have to do that on a computer. Once you then go to the app on your phone, which is just VoiceThread in the App Store, you'll now see that there's the commercial that you uploaded. You'll click on that, right? That'll bring you here, and you will hit play, which will bring you here, and you'll see that same plus sign. Once you hit that plus sign, you'll have the ability to record, right? You'll have a microphone again. You can hit that microphone again. Um, you'll have the ability to draw again as well. All that stuff, it will be recording your voice and you can stop recording. And um, then you can go back actually back to the website, right? And everything will be saved because it's immediately updated. You'll be able to click share and um, copy that link again. So that's how you create an advertisement analysis using VoiceThread. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.